Hey guys, what's up? It's Lisa Mohage, and I wanted to come on here and just do a live video, really just to check in and see how everyone is doing. Like, how are you really doing, right? We've been at stay at home, in place, uh, quarantine, whatever, for a few weeks now. And um, so we've had a little bit of time to adapt, to get adjusted as much as possible, and it's also the reality is sinking in. So I've watched everyone, not everyone, I've watched a lot of people just really um, go full force, right? They're doing these lives and I'm like, man, I really need to be going live and I really need to be, you know, talking to people. But honestly, it's taken me a few weeks it's taken me a couple of weeks to really find my grounding in all of this, to adjust, to um, keep my peace. And so that's what I wanted to talk about today is keeping your peace through all of this chaos, right? Through this situation where, yes, we are blessed to be at home. I really have a feeling once everything goes back to normal, we're gonna be like, why didn't I take time to rest? Like, why did I get so stressed out during this time? Well, it is a very stressful time, of course. Hey, Tessa, how are you doing? You're cooking. What you cooking, Tessa? Something good, I'm sure, because you're an amazing chef. Um, but for me, it's really just taken a little bit of time to get myself settled. Um, it's been an adjustment, even though I do work from home. Good morning, Erica. How are you? Um, I work from home, so it was funny because I told my family, I was like, well, yeah, I'm really going to like stay at home. I'm not going to go anywhere. And they're like, you stay at home all the time anyway. But not having the ability to go out and do the things that, you know, I would often do just to get out of the house. And of course, just not knowing, like the unknown is very scary, right? So um, I just wanted to hop on here and just share some top tips with you about keeping your peace. And one thing to always remember, it says in the Bible that God does not send a spirit of fear or anxiety. So if you're having fear right now, I mean, it rightfully so, there's a lot of scary things going on right now, but you just have to come to terms that this is gonna pass and everything is going to be okay. So what can you do right now to really guard your mindset, to protect your body, to take care of you? That's one of the things that I've really um, decided to do myself right now is to really just learn to take care of myself, learn to love myself, to um, put myself first because it's just like when you have that, um, when you're on the plane, right, before you take off and they say, okay, you know, in case of an accident, you're gonna put your oxygen mask on first. Why? So you can take care of other people. And so it's really important that we take care of ourselves and so that we can take care of our families. But now is also a time to really pause and think about and just reflect, right? It's okay to pause and stop and reflect and think and know like everything is going to be okay to give yourself that peace of mind. So the very first thing that I would encourage you to do is to really just focus on your mindset. Um, whether you're starting out your morning or your bedtime, do it in prayer, do it in meditation. Take time to clear your mind, to allow yourself to have that reset moment, to give yourself that inner peace, to acknowledge your thoughts, to acknowledge your feelings, but then to let them go, but also to have a time where you can listen. So, you know, in your prayer, in your meditation, take time to listen to what is really going on because our mind can play tricks on us, right? Our mind is very, very smart and, and powerful. So it's really important to stay in control of your mindset because it all starts right here. So just take time to slow down, pause, and as the anxiety kicks in, as fear kicks in, 
rise above, right? You are stronger than the fear, than the anxiety that is trying to attack your spirit. You are stronger than that. So take time to pause and rise above. Um, the second thing is to set your expectations. So whether it is the night before or the morning, as soon as you get up, notice both things are the night before and in the morning. So maybe reflect on these throughout the day, but really set, set your expectations. Um, maybe it's tonight before you go to bed. Say your bedtime affirmations. Say, tomorrow is going to be an awesome day. I'm going to wake up at this time. I'm going to work out at this time. This is my to-do list. And go over your to-do list and think about what really matters right now. If something on your to-do list is not urgent, it doesn't need to be on your to-do list because your to-do list are the things that need to be done right now. Because I really feel like this is a time for us to rest and recoup, re recuperate and just come out stronger and better than when we went in. So set your expectations the night before, the morning of, what are you going to get done, what has to get done, and schedule it. Schedule your workout. What time are you going to work out? Give yourself two different times. So maybe it's 6 a.m. before the kids are up and you're homeschooling, and maybe you have a backup workout schedule, right? So if you don't get that workout in at 6 a.m., maybe you're gonna work out at 6 p.m. You know, like, okay, if I don't work out six, I can work out at 6 p.m., right? So set your schedule for the day, set your expectations, make time for gratitude, make sure that that is on your to-do list, your prayer, meditation, but also gratitude and just focusing on all of the positive things that we have right now. We are still very blessed and very grateful. And now is not the time to stir up trouble, right? Now is not the time to point fingers at other people. Like we should have done that. We should have done this. Yeah, we should have, could have, would have, but this is where we are. And I always truly believe that everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens exactly the way that it's supposed to be. And all we can do is learn from it and move forward, take care of ourselves, take care of our loved ones, and do it with love. Um, so the next thing is really just taking care of your body. Your, your fitness and nutrition is so important right now. So I want to encourage you to schedule in that 30 minutes a day to get your workouts in. It can be going outside for a walk. I've been doing lots of that, just finding peace within nature and, and within myself, taking our dogs. Our dogs are so spoiled right now. They've been on the most walks <laughs> they've been in a very long time, so they're loving all of this. So find 30 minutes a day to do what you love. So whether that's yoga, whether that is, you know, hit cardio, I'm do I just switched over to a super intense workout because um, I don't know if you saw my post, but I've put on a little bit of weight and it's time to get that back under control. So do the workout that you love. Lisa, you're so awesome, guys. If you're not following Lisa Washington, make sure you follow her. She's an amazing chef. Um, she also does meditation. She's got a meditation up on her blog um, that will just bring you to tears and not in a sad way, but it's a way of releasing. It's a way of releasing that stress. It's a way of releasing that tension, that anxiety, that fear. That was the number one thing that I shared today was prayer and meditation. So make sure you check out her page. It's She's awesome. She's, she's changed my life in so many ways. So, um, so finding that 30 minutes a day, get your workouts in. I have free workouts on my website um, that I'll share in the comments here below that you can just stream from your cell phone, your computer, your tablet. You can even share it to your, your TV if you have Apple TV. Um, but lots of free workouts are available right now. There's things on YouTube. I've got my quarantine fix group is open. Um, so find what makes you happy. What makes your soul, what makes your spirit happy and do that. Um, and then of course your nutrition. Um, I want to encourage you guys to get rid of the refined sugars and carbs that are in your house, right? I threw away yesterday the last of the sweets because I was like, if it's in the house, I'm going to eat it. I love sugar. It loves me. <laughs> 
So if you have sweets, if you have things that you know are bad for you, your kids don't need it, so don't use that as an excuse. Get rid of the sugar, get rid of all the carbs that are bad carbs, the bad sugars, of course. Get rid of those, because if, if it's in the house, you're gonna eat it. So right now is the most important time for you to fuel your body with good foods. So eating whole foods, eating a balanced meal plan. So making sure you're getting those healthy carbs, and maybe it's just two a day, depending on you know your activity level and your weight and your height and all of that, it all varies, but maybe it's just two carbs a day, making sure you're getting your healthy fats in. So avocado, cheese, walnuts, I have dry skin. So I know all about the healthy fats. I'm, I'm trying to get as much of it as I can. Olive oil, all of those good things that are good for you. Of course, getting your veggies in, your lean protein, staying away from fried foods. I don't know what happened. Um, for me, I feel like with this whole situation, I gave myself an excuse to eat bad. Why? I don't know. It's that comfort food, you know, like we were going through all of this, the stress and anxiety, the uncertainty, the unknown. Let me go eat a bag of gummy bears because that's going to make it better. Not. So um, just know, guys, give yourself um, some grace. Give yourself some grace and no, don't be so hard on yourselves. Don't compare yourself to what the other mom is doing or what the other entrepreneur is doing. This is a different season for all of us. So for some of us, it's a moment of rest. For other people, they're running full speed and they're pivoting and they're doing the next thing. Now, I took a few weeks to just kind of analyze and figure out what in the world is happening. <laughs> I still don't know, but I do feel like I've got my spirit back. I feel like I got my mojo back, and now I'm ready to put into play what is next, right? But you have to take care of yourself. You've got to be in the right mindset So before you can do anything. So take care of yourself first. Don't compare yourself to what other people are doing. If you need to rest, rest. Um, and focus on controlling the controllable because right now there are a lot of things that are out of control, out of our control. You know, we cannot control what other people do. Um, what you can control is yourself. You can tr control your mindset. You can do your prayer and meditation. You can pick up a book. You can listen to a podcast. You can call a friend who lifts you up. Don't call that Debbie Downer right now if you're feeling down. Call that person that you know when you get off the phone with, you feel like your spirit has been fed. And be that person for someone else. So call your family, FaceTime your family, call your friends, Send a text, check in on them, see how they're doing. Um, focus on what you can control. And at the end of the day, guys, no matter what happens, know that everything is going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Your family's going to be okay. We're going to get through this. So let's get through it stronger and better. Have a great day, guys. And thanks so much for, for watching. Feel free to share, tag a friend if you feel like this was something helpful. Uh, and if you want to hear from me more often on any subjects, comment below. Let me know. Take care of yourselves. Stay, stay safe, stay strong. I always have to think about that because I get tongue-tied. Bye. God bless.